There are just a few weeks left of 2020, and that means it will soon be time to file taxes again. But due to the pandemic, paying them could be a little more complicated from other years. According to CBS News Money Watch, Americans who are working from home in a different state from their employer's office could be in for a surprise. That's because it could mean they owe income taxes in another state. For more, I want to bring in the author of that article, Stephen Gandell. He is a CBS News Money Watch senior reporter. All right, Stephen, when I read your article, I have to say I thought taxes already, really? <laughs> but this is really important information. First of all, Stephen, can you explain why the pandemic could cause tax problems for people who work from home? Well, the tax code is... Uh, considerably older than the pandemic. It's older than Zoom. It's older than the way we work now. And so the way it's written is that you st pay state taxes, not where you live, but in the state that you work. And millions of Americans are now working in a different place than they used to work. And if that place, their home, is in a different state than where they typically go to their office, then that state that they're now working in this year might uh, want to tax them for the work they did in 2020. So how many people, Stephen, could potentially be impacted by this double taxation issue? How, how much could they end up paying? So we don't, the experts said we don't really know. Uh, many think it's millions. There are some other things it's tens of millions. Now, these are the Americans that commute to work across lines. About 40% of working Americans spent some time this year during the pandemic working from home. Uh, there's a smaller part that commute across state lines. And there's then the group that are in states what they call, they have laws that call tax convenient laws. And that means that the, the state that your employer is in has a right to tax you uh, he has a right to, the, your employer has the ability to give you the convenience of working where you want, and the state will still tax you. And that's where the problem of possible mm -hmm. double state taxation comes in for people. If that state says, well, we have a right to tax you uh, wherever you choose to work, and then the state that you live in, that you're now working in from home, says, well, we want to tax you too. And so it's a smaller subset, but there could be, say, hundreds of thousands of Americans that uh, potentially face this problem. So, you know, Stephen, I imagine there are going to be folks listening who are wondering now about their own situations. How is it that people can actually check to see if they, in fact, will be affected? Well, so there's, to make it even more complicated, there are some states that have put out guidance and some states that have not put out guidance. And uh, so you can look. There's a, a, the website of uh, the American Institute of Certified Public Account uh, Accountants. They have a list of 15 states that have said, hey, listen, uh, we're not, for the, at least for this year, if it goes on longer, at least for this year, we're not gonna tax people if they work from home. You can still pay taxes in the state that you normally pay taxes in. And one of those states that has said that is New Jersey, which is very helpful because there's about 400,000 uh, residents of New Jersey who work, used to work pre-pandemic, used to com commute to New York. Now, many fewer of them, of them are. Uh, Connecticut, on the other hand, well, Connecticut hasn't, um, said what they're planning on doing. Uh, so you should look to see whether your state said something, and then you can also check with your employer. So some U.S. companies have told their employees they can work from home indefinitely, and remote work is going to be commonplace for many Americans even after the pandemic. Could we see states change their tax guidelines? Yes, yeah, so it's already breaking out, because people are seeing this, it's already breaking out some fights. Like Massachusetts, passed one of these tax convenient laws that said they're gonna tax people uh, even if you're, for your convenience, you're working at home in a different state. And New Hampshire has come back and said, whoa, 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 we don't want our, uh, if our residents are working and living in New Hampshire, we don't want them taxed. And New Jersey too, we talked about that mm -hmm. 400,000 people. New Jersey, some New Jersey legislatures uh, have said, if this is gonna go on for a long time, one year's okay, but it's gonna go on for a long time, then maybe we would like to keep that tax revenue back in our state. So I, I think this is putting up for grabs the billions of dollars a year that uh, states tax people who commute to their to their state from out of state to work. Um, so I think there there is going to be some rethinking and there's some movement 
um, along by uh, lawmakers and people who'd like to simplify the tax code to get rid of this whole system, right? To, that say it, it points out the problem mm -hmm. that we have. We're going to a more mobile workforce. We should just have everyone tax where they live. And that might be easier, but that's going to be a lot harder for cities like New York that typically got a lot of their taxes, something like 15 percent of their tax revenue from out-of-state commuters. Yeah, there's so much at stake here for these various states. What about employers, Stephen? What is their role in all of this? What can they do to help their employees? Well, they can. So employers and employees both have an obligation to report this. So um, employers should let their employees know, hey, we recognize that you've been working from home in a different state, and your state is one where it may matter. And they should tell them. And employers also, because there's tax withholding, right? I mean, throughout the year, they hold back taxes, and states require that. Yeah. Um, the employer also needs to be aware of where you're working. Uh, and so if there's withholding in a state that you now owe taxes in, they need to be doing that to avoid penalties. And then the employers have to watch themselves, because if they start having employees work in states that they didn't before, they may themselves, the companies may own taxes to those states. There's so much I think people have to keep in mind now is the time to really start getting all of that in order here and just prepare themselves for um, what is going to undoubtedly be a very messy, difficult tax season ahead. Just, Stephen Gandell, Stephen, thank you so much for bringing it to our attention. Yes. <laughs> all right, Stephen, thank you.